Hi, I'm going to talk a little bit about wine etiquette. Now, this is uh, probably not too much uh, to, for people to really think about, or and most of what I'm going to say is going to be, oh yeah, well of course that makes sense. But what I'm really looking at here is some do's and don'ts when you're tasting wine. And this is for your own benefit as well as those around you. Now the number one no-no is smoking. If you're a smoker or you have smokers in the group, the polite thing to do is, you know, step outside or away from the group and do the smoking there and then come back. And usually smokers, even uh, hardcore ones, during the wine tasting, don't smoke. They would pull it, you know, pretty much over or breaking point, uh, depending on how long it's going to be. You definitely don't want to have smoke wafting around the tasting area. That's just very impolite for all, all the other people that aren't smoking. And it really interferes with getting the, the right nose on the wine and understanding what you're smoking. You don't want that competition to smoke of any sort. And similarly, you don't want to have a barbecue going on either. It's going up a lot of are smoking. You want to keep your air environment as clean as possible. Now, along that same line, especially for inside, don't wear a lot of perfume or cologne. I mean, that interferes a lot with smoking. It's, uh, Personally, I find it sense even in an office place, but uh, some people just pile that stuff on. Take it easy, you know. Obviously, yeah, if you use your deodorant, that's fine. Some light scents, that's hard okay, but don't make it so overpowering people who can't smell it. Uh, another thing, too, is that people have some uh, misconceptions about is giving wine. Wine is a gift. Uh, this is kind of a trickier one. If you know what you're doing with wine, or you know the taste of the person you're giving wine to, it's one thing. If you know, if you have a good friend who just absolutely loves Cabernet Sauvignon, then yeah, by all means, give that person uh, a, a gift of Cabernet Sauvignon for their birthdays or whatever. It's also polite if you're visiting someplace, going to someone's house for dinner, to take a small gift. It's uh, more traditional in European countries, probably in the U.S., but. It's uh, not a bad idea. It's a good habit to have. And bring along you know, a bottle of wine if you have. Now that said, don't bring along the cheapest thing you can find. That's pretty rude, especially if people you're going to visit know a lot about wine. Now, there's a wine here that's uh, referred to as Two Buck Chuck. That's not its official name, but it may as well be. If that's not something you would take as a gift to uh, a dinner party. Or would I give that to anybody as a uh, birthday or other gift? So yeah, if you're gonna take if you're gonna gift wine to someone, make sure it's a good bottle, or at least what you assume to be a good bottle. Doesn't need to cost a zillion dollars, just something that's uh, a good quality but it's not gonna break the bank. Now the other side of that, uh, if you, you're a host or your joint to dinner is being hosted, don't be offended if that person does not serve the bottle of wine that you gave them when you walked in the door. If they are planning a dinner party with wine at every course, they've already bought and planned the wine. So what you give them is for them to consume later on, not necessarily at that dinner. So don't be offended at all if they don't serve the wine you bought as well. Similarly, if you're doing the hosting and you've already planned out the wine, you're not obligated to serve the wine they gave to you. So that's the official etiquette on gifting wine for dinner party situations. When you're going to someone's house, you assume that they already have the wine planned out. Now, an exception to that is if you're planning a gathering with your friends and it's everybody bring a bottle of wine to drink. Well, then, yeah, you just bring whatever they drink, you can drink. That's a little different scenario. Now, one other thing, too, is toast. There's, I'm not going to go into what's an appropriate toast for this, that, or the other case. There's lots of different on that. But there's some, uh, I sort of call it etiquette, but it's almost superstition. There's two things. You never toast with an empty glass because there's nothing to toast with. It's like an empty, empty wish. Oh, I, or empty whatever. It's like, oh, I hope you really get better and you can care less. That's what you're saying. Yeah. You're toasting my health when your glass is empty. You're not toasting my health. You're toasting my lack of health. The other side of that is you do not toast with water. If you have a non-drinker there or a, a minor child or something like that who's not old enough to drink, Give them something else to toast with. Don't give them water. Uh, it, it says, we're okay, give them a glass of milk and a wine glass. I love it. Or give them fruit juice. That's fine. If it's uh, an adult non drinker, it can be fruit juice again. I wouldn't use soda, but that's just me. It would be okay. But uh, maybe iced tea or heat drinker or something like that. So everybody can toast. 
get them to laugh, make them fit in as much as possible, make them feel like they're part of you, whether it's a non-drinker or a little kid or even a teenager. You know, make them feel included, but uh, keep it legitimate too. You don't have to give the teenager wine to drink or toast. Uh, your discretion, maybe you do want to, that's up to you, but just keep giving something else, uh, a non-wine drink, a non-alcoholic drink. Those are fine things, and they're acceptable for toast. It's totally okay to toast your partner in the morning with a glass of wine. So, those are just a few little things to keep in mind when you're tasting wine and other wine tasting. So, hopefully that's helpful to you. Don't mean to come down on anybody. If you didn't know about these, you know about them now, so you can be better going forward. So, in the meantime, cheers, enjoy your wine, and have a good day.